Good evening, School Board Trustees and Cabinet. My name is Miguel Romo, Principal here at Williams Middle School. To say that this school year has been challenging is an understatement. We've all been working hard, certificated staff, classified staff, students, and our community to progress throughout the year. Tonight, we'd love to share some of the highlights of this school year. Hope you enjoy. Good evening, School Board Trustees and Cabinet. I'm Ms. Ryan, Assistant Principal here at Williams. This year, we've been focusing on social emotional learning. We kicked off the school year in September 2020 with an attendance challenge. For the month of September, uh, we honored our students who received perfect attendance with a weekly raffle. In the month of October, I challenged our staff, students, and community to stand in unity against bullying. In our PE department, all of our students have been receiving second step lessons throughout the school year. Second step is our social emotional curriculum. In the video tonight, you'll see the staff here at Williams collaborating to meet our students' needs. Hi everyone, I am Michelle Simas, full-time counselor at Williams Middle School. Counselors presenting in classrooms is a common occurrence at Williams. Some of these presentations feature district-sponsored curriculum, such as SOS Signs of Suicide and College Next, while others are counselor-created. All presentations fall into one of three categories as outlined by our National School Counseling Model, which are academic, social-emotional, and college and career. These are Tier 1 offerings, which means they are for everyone. Students have received presentations on study skills, time management, motivation, student success, and the transition to high school. Even during academic-focused presentations, SCL components are emphasized throughout by discussing fixed versus growth mindset, ways to stay motivated, and how to practice self-care and wellness during challenging times. We have future presentations planned that will address the specific social-emotional topics of dealing with difficult emotions, creating and maintaining healthy friendships, and managing stress. In addition, all of our three grade levels are currently receiving lessons from College Next that include interests as they relate to careers, exploring majors in colleges, and creating a four-year plan for high school. At Williams, we see the value of counselors in classrooms as a way to share valuable information and to be visible and accessible to students. We appreciate the support of our admin in this endeavor, as well as our staff's willingness to make time for us to come in and present. This year, we implemented a new character recognition award at Williams called Wildcat Pride Awards. These awards coincide with our second step curriculum and recognize students who display characteristics in line with the traits being taught in PE classes. Each week, teachers are asked to nominate students and up to 10 students are selected to receive an in and out gift certificate. Winners and their parents receive an email to notify them about their win. Teachers are asked to recognize and congratulate winners in their classes, which we hope will motivate and encourage others to also display the characteristics that earn these students their awards. Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you my paper model of a tower withstanding a fake earthquake made by my social studies notebook, I think. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys, this one passes the test, and, uh... here at Williams. We have kept the art alive during the uh, 
during the COVID uh, situation. We have students that log on very excited every day for interactive art. Uh, right now we're doing soap carving and learning about uh, Rodan. We have a great setup here. Students are able to come pick up packets, seventh and eighth graders, uh, from everything from soap to scratch art and all the supplies they need. We have 10 of our students are currently in the district art show, which goes live um, on March 1st. And we also have the Williams Art Show, which will be virtual this year. The theme is beautiful, and we'll make sure we uh, let everybody know about that when that comes out. So a lot of great art happening here at Williams. Hi, my name is Ms. Keenan. I teach seventh grade social studies at Williams Middle School. And the reason that I started to do Bring Your Pet to School was because of my own pets. I was teaching on a Wednesday at home, and my cat would not leave us alone. And the kids thought it was great. They were giggling and laughing. And I said, well, what about you guys? Show me your pets. And I also have one little girl whose dog will not stop barking unless she's holding it. So we made Wednesday's unofficial Bring Your Pet to School Day. And as you can see from the pictures, it's been wonderful. It's also helped me learn about the kids in a way I never would have learned about them if they were in the classroom because you can't bring your pets to school, right? So I have met all the birds and the cats and the dogs, and it's, it's just been a wonderful kind of bonding experience with my kids. And they absolutely love to show me their animals. Hello again. So proud of everyone and how they have handled distance learning. Thank you to our teachers for their hard work and creativity. Thank you to our students for their resilience. Thank you to our parents for their patience and understanding. Thank you to our classified staff for adapting. Thank you to our board and district leadership for your support. This school year will be remembered for many things. Let's continue to focus on the positive and all the great things we have done to overcome and move forward. Go Wildcats!